Hey, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David. Today we're going to continue our series called Knife Sharpening Boot Camp. I'm going to show you how to get sharp, pointy knives every time. In this series, we're going to take a look at things like stone sharpeners, field sharpeners, pool sharpeners, gizmos and gadgets, bench sharpeners, just about any other kind of sharpener you can imagine. Before we're all done with this series, I'm going to show you how to sharpen small knives, large knives, just about any knife in between. Today I've got a special surprise. I'm going to show you how to take a two cent piece of scrap wood and use it with your sharpening stone to get a nice sharp edge. Let's get started. So if the thought of sharpening your favorite knife with a sharpening stone makes your pulse rise, produces cold sweats, makes you want to crawl under a table and suck your thumb, or brings back bad memories of a time when you ended up with a knife that was more dull than the lame doll butter knife blade that you started with, I have good news. You can learn to use a sharpening stone to get a razor sharp knife. But the number one problem that most people have when sharpening their knife with a stone is keeping a consistent angle between their blade and the sharpener. So here's a secret that'll help you get a consistent sharp edge on your knife every time. Meet my secret weapon. No, it's not a piece of scrap wood. Well, it is, but it's an intentional piece of scrap wood. Yeah, it's just a chunk of Hind 2x4 that I cut on my chop saw at a 20 degree angle. And if you want to get great edges on your knives, a wedge like this will soon become your knife sharpening buddy. Trust me. So before we go any further, let me give you an introduction to blade edges and sharpening angles. Many outdoor knives have a sharpening angle of around 20 degrees on each side of the blade, which equals a 40 degree blade edge. Some sharpening angles, especially those of kitchen knives, may be smaller at around 16 degrees or a 32 degree edge. Some sharpening angles, like those of hunting and larger survival and tactical knives, may be even larger at around 23 degrees or a 46 degree edge when we total both sides. So in general, knives with narrower edges, like kitchen knives, are going to be easier to sharpen to a razor's edge and are generally better for fine and precision cutting, but have a weaker, thinner edge than most outdoor knives. They're not going to stand up to the hard use of knives with a wider edge, like those found on many survival and tactical knives. All this being said, in this case, we're going to sharpen my doll Schrade Uncle Henry folding knife, which has a blade angle around 20 degrees, using our 20 degree wedge do this, we'll take our wedge and place it at the end of our sharpening stone. Let's use a fine grit stone, and so I only need to sharpen a dull blade and not reset the edge. So I'm going to use my DMT diamond bench stone here, but you can use any quality fine grit sharpening stone or diamond bench stone that you like. Now lay the flat part of the blade on the wedge and face the edge of your blade in the direction you're going to stroke, just like this. Next, run the blade across the length of the stone with even control and just a little pressure, making sure you keep the angle of the blade at the angle set by your wedge. Starting from the heel to the tip of the blade, and drawing the knife towards your sharpening hand as you go, like this. Now do 10 repetitions on each side of your blade. So if you do 10 strokes on one side, make sure you do 10 on the other also. Now repeat this process with 10 strokes on each side until you get a sharp edge. Okay, now to make one of these wedges, cut a scrap 2x4 square on your chop saw. Just be careful. Next, turn it on end. Adjust the angle of the base of your chop saw to 20 degrees for most knives, 23 degrees for survival and tactical knives, and about 16 degrees for kitchen knives. Most chop saws adjust like this. So we're cutting a 20 degree guide here. Now just cut an angled slice off the edge of the board like this. Next, you can cut this long piece up into two or three different sizes to match the width of your sharpening stones. Since I have several of these wedges laying around that are different angles and sizes, I label mine with a permanent marker. Okay, now if you don't have a chop saw, just find someone who does. Literally takes like two minutes to make a half dozen of these angle guides with a chop saw. Now, of course, we didn't cover all the basics of using a sharpening stone here. See our other knife sharpening boot camp training for that. I'm just taking a look at some knife sharpening basics. I've shown you how to use a piece of scrap wood formed into a wedge to get consistently sharp knives using a sharpening stone. Oh, and before I forget, I want to thank Russell Taylor and the kind folks at Taylor Brands, the makers of Smith & Wesson and Charade Knives, for helping me make this series possible. You guys rock! For your convenience, I've included links to the gear that I've mentioned and other videos in the Knife Sharpening Bootcamp series in the video description on YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more gear reviews, survival tips, and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. While you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag 
like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side, and remember, be prepared, because you never know.